The name of this video is going to be called The Holy Bible and End Times Prophecy. And this is from the book of Nahum, Nahum chapter 2, verse 4. And it's all about ghost cars. But we call them end time cars. Now these are your classic sports cars you see on the roads, making noise, um, lavish, you know, vanity cars. As you can see here, um, at the moment, it's quite... Mm -hmm. And here, I'm outside uh, One Hyde Park, one of the most expensive locations in Knightsbridge. Knightsbridge. <laughs> Here we go. So we're talking about the, the, the cars, not the, just London, but we're actually talking about cars in the whole world. Yeah, in the whole world. But I'm in one of the locations okay. in London that is well known for these ghost cars. Okay. So what, what, what God says is that um, God knew this already, you know. So these cars were already prophesied in the Bible, okay? So I'm going to read something. So Nahum written this prophecy in um, 663 uh, BC. That's before Christ, in case you don't know. To 612 BC. It gives us another amazing prophecy of the last days. It perfectly describes today's world of cars okay so these cars these ghost cars these sports cars they were mentioned in the bible okay for the lord has turned away the excellency of jacob as the excellency of israel for the emptiers have emptied them out and marred their vine branches the shield of his mighty men is made red the vigilant men are in scarlet. The chariots shall be flaming torches, torches in the day of his preparation. And the fir trees shall be terribly shaken. Okay? And this is what Nahum saw in the Bible. So obviously he couldn't he couldn't have words to describe these cars that, that God was giving him visions in those days before Christ, before Jesus Christ, okay? BC. Before Christ came and died on the cross. Yes, for before sins. our Holy Lord Jesus Christ came and died on the cross for all of our sins. We're going and back rose to the prophecy. From the and rose again, yes. Amen. So, the chariots, the chariots, so the chariots are these cars we have, right? These spa, sports cars, cars in general. Let's say cars in general. Okay? The chariots shall rage in the streets, okay? So these cars, they are raging in the streets. They are making noise, okay? Which again, when you think about it, you know, it's kind of selfish in a way because they don't think about the neighbors, you know, of the area that are affected by this noise. So guys, come on, okay? We know you have beautiful cars. At the end of the day, it's vanity. It's vanity and it's showing off. But you know, God blessed you with this car, but at the end of the day, really, really think about the effect you have on people, you know. And uh, also maybe just sell one of them and give it to the Sell farm. your car, one of your cars and give to charity. Go to a country and, and, you know, people are dying. People are hungry. They have no food. It's vanity. That's what God is saying, okay. So, again, going back to the prophecy in the Bible, okay. They shall, okay, this is what it says in the Bible about your cars. They shall jostle one against another in the broadways. They shall seem like torches. They shall run like the lightnings, okay? Verse three speaks of King Jesus, second coming, the last days, our days. Okay, we are living in the last days, okay? This is what everyone needs to get through their heads. All this is going, it's not going to last, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, Nahum calls them chariots. The chariots of verse 4 are the cars of today, which indeed do rage in the streets, okay? Your supercars, your ghost cars, you do rage in the streets. So your cars have already been prophesied in the Bible. 
okay this just goes with another prophecy of the last days okay we are living in the last days okay every day there are accidents throughout the world especially in large cities the cars jostle one another in the broadways okay so again you are causing we're causing accidents you know Nahum never saw a modern car but in vision he was shown one of our modern highways at night okay so this guy he's been see he saw this okay he had a prophecy from God he's seen it he of course had never seen headlights or tail lights okay so he's seen cars he's seen cars God showed him visions of cars God uh, Yeshua Adonai he's very very modern he's God okay he's above us at the end of the day right he knew they were not torches but they gave off a brilliant light and since he was at a loss as to how to describe them okay so in those days he did not know how to describe these cars okay he said they seem like torches he was amazed at the speed Okay, he was amazed at the speed of the chariots. So why do you think man in the world, mankind, have these very expensive cars? Well, because the they have... Do they have them, uh, you know... They, you know, they, they... Do they have them to show off? Do they have them for vanity? Or do they have them well, to need well, the car? You know, why well, do they have these cars? Well, they don't have... They don't have Jesus Christ in their hearts. They don't know God. So, you know, if you knew Jesus Christ, you would not have to, you know, drive a fancy car and spend millions on a, one car. You know, instead of that, you would give millions to, you know, poor people that need it, okay? But um, they don't know Jesus Christ, you know? They don't know Jesus Christ. Amen. So, praise God. Yeah. So, you were just finishing off what you were saying then. Sorry. <laughs> Yes, so he was amazed at the speed of the chariots and described them as running like lightning, okay? Sometimes, in other language, visions of the Bible. The word chariots is rendered cars, okay? So basically they use the words, they, they, basically they use the words chariot for cars, yeah? Okay? Sometimes, in other language versions of the Bible, the word chariot is indeed cars, okay? They're cars, okay? Amen. So basically, they're just cars. Okay, I'm gonna go back to uh, the Spanish, we're gonna talk about the Spanish Bible. This is true, for instance, in the Spanish Bible, chariot is translated carros, cars, Spanish car for firm, Marcos de carros y motos, okay? So if we just look there, okay, so, you know, this extract is from the King Jesus Bible, um, if you want to copy, or if you want any information on the King Jesus Bible, you can email Brother Dr. Banda uh, on kingjesusbible at aol.com, okay, so I'm going to Father Yahweh is going to speak now about the people who are driving these sports cars, okay? Uh, what you need to know is that um, our Holy Lord Jesus Christ, okay, is God, right? Now, in His Bible, because you, do not, you don't want to accept Him as God, okay, prophesies that the cars that you're driving are in the Bible, okay? That's what you need to know. That's what you need to understand. Okay, um, you have obviously been blessed with these cars. Okay, nothing wrong with that. But really think about yourself. Really think about how many cars do you need? Do we really, really need five cars? No, you don't. You know, instead, go give that money to somebody who needs it. I know probably you do give money to charities and stuff like that. Okay, that's good. But really think about it. Really, you see, that's the prince of the air. So, you know, we just say, get behind me, Satan, you know, at the end of the day. But uh, the thing is, is that we need to humble ourselves before God, okay? 
because Jesus Christ can come back any day. Our Holy so Lord they Jesus can't Christ take can these, come back. They can't take these uh, expensive cars no. with them. And also, you are causing a disturbance to people. Okay, whatever you do with your money is your business. It's between you and God, okay? But I think God is saying, no, I know God is saying that you go and you rev your cars down the road. Think about, imagine you have one lady, one old lady has a heart problem, okay? And the noise of your car gives her a heart attack, okay? But you don't care because you've already drove your car and you're already wherever you are. This is making a very, very bad disturbance to people, okay? Basically. But the Lord Jesus Christ talks about in the and he talks it, about, about it. vanity already. They talk about vanity because yes. these are puffed up. But people. you're doing this noise, okay, to show off. You're yes. doing it for vanity. Okay, fine. You're doing it for vanity. But at the end of the day, what you're doing, you are causing problems to other people. You are upsetting other people. You understand? You're making noise. You're making disturbances for people. Okay, drive your car, fine. You know, but don't make noise. Have consideration for others. So we have a couple more minutes left. So um, if people want to come to uh, know Jesus Christ as yes. a personal and savior, what shall they do? Repent. Humble yourself first. Once you decide to humble yourself, okay, so at the end of the day, all your riches on earth means nothing, okay? As it says in the Bible, you have gained the world, but you've lost your soul, okay? At the end of the day, God forbid, you can die tomorrow, okay? But where do you go? Do you know where you're going? Are you going to heaven or are you going to hell? That's what you need to think in your head, so okay? Re repent of your sins and call Repent the from your sins, okay? And, and realize with your mouth. And realize that Jesus mouth. Christ is God and He God sent his only begotten son for you, for me, for all the sinners in the world because he loves us, okay? If you don't want to accept that, it means that you are puffed up, okay? But at the end of the day, we've already discussed what we said, okay? But if you really confess believe, believe it first. You confess have to believe it, it and then confess with your mouth that Jesus, okay, Christ, is that Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. And God raised, Jesus from and the God dead. raised him God. from the dead to give Hallelujah. us eternal life. And believe me, you will not need to buy 50 cars because you will have happiness in your heart. You will have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit in you, which is only love, kindness, meekness, um, you know, the fruits of the Holy Spirit, okay? Because your flesh is going to burn. Your soul is going to burn. It's not, you know, if you don't have Christ, but at the end of the day, the flesh and the soul is dead, okay? okay. You're dead spiritually. You're so you dead need, spiritually. You need to be, as John 3, 3 said, you need to be born. Amen. Again. You must be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven. Praise okay? the Lord. Okay? But Jesus loves you. But get that through your head. Yes, God did do that. He humbled himself, in a way. Okay? And you're not doing that. So be careful, because God is above you. And he's coming back any day. He's coming back in a blink of an eye. Oh, blink God. of an eye, he can Amen. come. Thank you. God bless you, Thank you. woman of God. Thank you, Evangelist um, DJ. Bad, um, for coming out today and just sharing yeah. um, your message on these uh, ghost cars. Amen. Prophesied already in the scriptures. We give all the glory to Adonai. El Shaddai Almighty God. Jesus. And the whole point is, God. the whole point, we want, well, with that, we're being a Bible believing, God fearing Christian, is that we have to humble ourselves before God, okay? And love each other. Love each other. Care for the world. Help the planet. Don't be so selfish. That's God, it. God bless you, woman. Amen. God bless Should, you, child, thank God. you. God bless you. Thank you. And um, thank you for joining me for uh, Jesus Coffee Talk. Thank and you. again, we should be coming back again very soon. King Jesus, will you be ready? 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 For King Jesus, King Jesus, Yahweh Yeshua, Yeshua is your name written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. Is your name written down in the Lamb's Book of Life? Praise the Lord. Thank you. God bless you. And that's from Revelation. Amen. God bless you.